When I saw the Boeing Go Fly competition press release yesterday, I immediately thought back to the Local Motors Airbus Cargo Drone Challenge in 2016, a competition that launched a thousand computer renders, not very many practical ones amongst them. I was at Farnborough last year and could have gone to the prize giving, but the entire gig did not excite me at all. The attempt to make the winning Zelator CAD design, because that's all it was really, fly, sort of highlighted that just picking the prettiest looking machine was not the best plan at all. The crew struggled to build it and had to get outside help just to get the thing to fly. I stand under correction, but I think it's since been shelved. All in all, a shambles. So, in my mind, I treated Boeing GoFly with similar disdain yesterday, expecting it to spawn some great renders with no real contenders. This morning, sort of confirmed when I saw somebody on Facebook reckoning they could perform this task for less than $6,000. But then, I saw a couple of folks posting that do have experience, and they reckon they're going to throw their hat in the ring. And this made me think again. Lifting a person for 20 miles is such an undertaking that would not surprise me at all if it took two or three years of competition before it was actually won. Much like the granddaddy of all drone competitions, the Australian Outback Challenge. People tried, tried and tried again. That competition moved from not being able to leave the airfield to some people leaving the airfield to eventually getting the task done and Outback Joe rescued in grand style. No other event demonstrates progress in the RPA world better, in my opinion. Good luck, GoFly Challengers, but to please do wear a helmet.